So we're going to take a bit of a deep dive look into the Moonfang Hunter deck, specifically trying to look at the uses for Moonfang and resizing pouch. So we'll just hop into a game here. Um, I'm recording this live, so I have no idea um, what the matchups are going to be or even what our draw is going to be. So hopefully we actually draw <laughs> Moonfang and resizing pouch. So right off the bat, we get a rogue. Um, I make my own. Tremble before just the based on the matchup, um, I feel like uh, Tundra Rhino is going to be better than Moonfang for the matchup because Rogue is going to have ways to be able to deal uh, the repeated damage to Moonfang to be able to remove it. Uh, and Rogue is also going to have a lot of smaller health minions. So in this particular matchup, uh, the Tundra Rhino is going to be better and Moonfang probably isn't going to see a lot of use unless we just have it in hand. And don't have anything else to do. Um, the mulligan is exactly the same as, as uh, the other versions of the hunter deck. We never want to keep resizing pouch. It's here in our hands. Uh, we don't want it in the mulligan. And we're also going to toss uh, Rindlings and Wound Prey here. Um, really just looking for the one drop and to try to curve out from there. Just standard mulligan stuff. So we got our one drop um, and then we've got a, a turn two play in the form of Scavenger's Ingenuity here. Not ideal. I like to hit the board running. Um, just putting minions on the board and hopefully doing damage face. It's because we are an aggro deck. And you can see we're already behind on board on turn one to a rogue. <clears throat> Resizing pouch in hand. There's really no use for it. Um, well, I say no use for it. It's it's not a good play in this situation. If we play it, um, the only thing I think we could potentially find mm. that we might want for a one mana card would be maybe a wound prey to be able to kill the foxy fraud, possibly an arcane shot to kill the foxy fraud. But there's just so many different uh, one cost cards that we're probably not going to get anything useful. So. Now. We're going to trade here. We're going have to have to fight for the board early, and we don't want him to be able to shadow step that foxy fraud. Orple Tinger looking beefy. And this, this actually wasn't a bad card to hit with the Scavenger's Ingenuity. So we're going to play him, and if we played Resizing Pouch here, it uses all of our mana. We would get the choice of the zero-cost cards, and again, there's only going to be three zero-cost cards, so you get the same option every time. Really the only option that you ever, ever take for a zero-mana Resizing Pouch is Serpent Bloom. Um, but we just don't need it right here, right now. It's going to be better to uh, just spend our mana like this. Renlings uh, definitely has value in the rogue matchup because they have uh, quite a bit of lower health minions, so, you know, explosive trap is good. And then if they're going to be fighting for the board, then, you know, pack tactics is good, snake trap is good, um, freezing trap could potentially be good. wide and attempting to trade and this but you can kind of get the idea here that tundra rhino is going to be uh better in this matchup than the moonfang because you know he's got one health minion here one health minion here to be able to get the the damage from the effect to hit him in the face the shadow step if he plays it now that gives him the adorable infestation which he may play now So we can see here, he's going wide, he's not very big, so the play is just Rindlings. Hit face and try to find an explosive trap. But so here's a situation um, where we could consider resizing pouch. You play the coal car for two mana, you play the resizing pouch for uh, 
rather, you would want to mm. play the cub first. You play the resizing pouch with only one mana left. It gives us a 1-1. One, one. And then we can also play Serpent Bloom, which gives us an additional 1-1, one, one, and then a poison to be able to kill something. So the question is, is that going to be better than the Renlings? Car Let Cub. 1-1 one, one kills this. Serpent Bloom. Definitely would allow us to make some trades. And we may lose the option to be able to find that Serpent Bloom just because of um, having to spend our mana. But I'm going to stick with the Renlings play. Hit our Explosive Trap. I'm just going to go face here. I'm going to let him make the trades. It's going to leave a 3-1 on the board. Um, we can kill it with the Renlings if we need to. Um, we'll also be able to kill it with the Pack Runner play. We can also just use the Tundra Rhino to be able to shoot some damage into his face. Options. Options are always nice. So I find it kind of strange here that he actually doesn't attack and plays another minion onto the board. Free to shoot. So what's the correct play? Part of me feels like the play is just hero power. He has no way to really be able to buff the health of his minions. At some point he's going to have to attack into the explosive trap. So at this point, we're just wanting to do as much damage as we possibly can. Hmm. Play the Rhino. I don't think we even play the Rhino here. I mean, we do get the damage for it. Essentially get four damage out of it. Got a hero power pass. It's interesting that he would commit more to this board. I just really don't have to do anything. I suppose it's his way of trying to stall the game out if he can get to, uh, you know, nine mana to be able to Alex himself um, and get some healing. So you know, maybe he thinks that he can win a longer game. It's quiet. Care to make a wager, quiet. Friend. So we're definitely going to want to kill um, the field contact. We don't want him drawing a bunch of cards. We're going to go for a coal car play. Coal car lands. Kill that, and we're going to bump into the Van Cleef. Like so. And in the end, when you're trying to get better, um, individual wins and losses don't really matter. What's really going to matter is correct play. And there is a bit of a question um, with the line that we're taking. Is this the correct play? That's a really good draw for us with the Rhino in hand. So our patience with the Rhino has paid off. Um, do we want the other trap off of Renlings, or do we want to just equip, play this? What to do? And how important is it to kill the Octobot, but only get one damage on the face? Still no real reason to use resizing pouch here at this point in the game um, we're not going to be using it for uh, the option to pick up a serpent bloom it's probably going to be to use it um, when we just don't have anything better to do so 
possibly next turn um, if we have nothing to do with our eight mana we play resizing pouch take a seven cost card um, just try to develop an additional threat on the board That's an upgrade. Probably. So he finally procs the trap. Question is, does he have Alex in hand? It's less likely that he has it. So I think um, at this point we're just going to dump our hand. We're going to dump our hand and cycle with a quick shot. Question is... Um, what do we want to do with the resizing pouch? So I think we play the resizing pouch with six mana and potentially uh, look for a five drop on the outside chance that we could get another Tundra Rhino. Um, that's what we'll do. Interesting. Magical. The demon seed golden power. I'm just gonna now. hit it in the face. It's gonna be unlikely that we're gonna be able to hit our next Tundra Rano, so this is just gonna be one damage face every turn. So we'll trade first. This guy. Wow. just dead to hero power next turn and even if he has Alex and can Alex's face I mean he's still just dead so definitely a uh, long game right off the bat again I kind of question if uh, that was the correct line of play to kind of allow our opponent to stall the game out um, when he's really just looking for some type of a combo uh, with Alex to be able to kill us and the, the wicked blades and Sinister Strikes that are likely in his deck to be able to do the face damage, but he just never had a lot of cards in hand. So um, I felt like it was okay to be able to allow him to delay the game like that and just do chip damage on his face. So definitely if you disagree, if you think a better line was better, leave it in the comments.